In today's connected world, protecting our essential systems is more important than ever. Known as critical infrastructure, these systems include facilities and services that are vital to our economy, safety and daily life. This includes power plants, pipelines, roads, railways, airports, water treatment facilities and telecommunication networks. We rely on these systems for everything from healthcare and transportation to clean drinking water, internet access and energy. To give a sense of the scale of critical infrastructure, the US critical infrastructure security market was valued at $54.2 billion in 2024, reflecting just how important and valuable this sector is. So why are these systems targeted by cyber criminals? One reason is interconnectivity. These systems depend on one another. If one fails, others can follow. For example, one power grid attack can disable transportation systems, shut down gas stations and halt water treatment facilities, leaving people without power, the ability to travel and clean water. The tightly woven nature of these systems means that a breach in one can cascade through others, enabling attackers to inflict extensive and far-reaching damage. Attackers are also often motivated by financial gain aiming to steal sensitive data or demand ransom payments, while others may act on geopolitical motives, aiming to cause disruption or weaken national security. As you can imagine, the impact of a cyber attack on critical infrastructure can be both extensive and severe, potentially leading to massive operational disruptions, blackouts, fuel shortages, and water system failures that can cripple entire regions and disrupt daily life. Severe economic consequences, from costly system recovery efforts to prolonged business downtime, organizations may suffer millions in financial losses. Compromise national security. Attacks can disrupt military operations, interfere with defense capabilities, or expose classified government data. Real world physical danger. When essential services like hospitals, emergency response or water treatment are taken offline, public safety and lives are put at risk. As you can see, cybersecurity is not just a tech issue, it's a life issue. And protecting critical infrastructure means safeguarding the systems we all depend on every day.